Skywatch Media News for October the 28th, 2020. An incredible explosion from the sun's surface was recently observed by NASA satellites. The massive release of plasma and magnetism was spotted by the SOHO spacecraft during the early hours of October the 24th. The explosion, seen booming from the sun, was, according to some observers, reminiscent of the so-called Doomsday Machine depicted in the original Star Trek series. If you are unfamiliar with this hypothetical device, it was a space mechanism that had a large circular opening and a faint tail. The resemblance to the solar CME is quite ironic, even though the comparison is of no real importance to the recent prominence. What is important is that the latest solar outburst happened to be a filament of magnetism near the sun's northeastern limb, which became unstable and then exploded. Fortunately, the blast was expelled away from the Earth's direction. If it had impacted the Earth, it would have produced an intense solar storm from both the northern and the southern poles. The most important aspect of solar magnetic influence upon the Earth is not the likelihood of auroras, rather it is the consequences of solar particles which cause the atmosphere of the Earth to expand. The expansion can make it more difficult for satellite signal penetration. If the signals cannot get through the expanded atmosphere, then GPS, cell phone, and satellite TV, along with other means of global communication, will malfunction, which will become much more than just an annoying inconvenience for most of us. But that is not all that will malfunction as a result of a major geomagnetic storm. A surge of particles can produce high currents in the magnetosphere, which can lead to power grid failure, something that could turn out to be much more than just an inconvenience. It would, in fact, affect every aspect of life on Earth for many years. Events of this magnitude are rare, but they can happen, as was the case back in the year 1859, when an electromagnetic superstorm known as the Carrington event was so intense that telegraph lines went down across Europe and some buildings went up in flames. But new research has indicated that the monster storm 161 years ago may not be as unique as previously thought. Historical documents from East Asia suggest that Carrington-like events have happened many times before, and probably will again. Previous studies of solar superstorms relied heavily on Western Hemisphere accounts, thus emitting data from the East and causing other superstorms to be overlooked. Take for example the Great Storm of September 1770, when extremely bright red auroras were visible across Japan and parts of China. The immense lights, said to be twice the size of the Carrington Sunspot Group, were seen south of Indonesia by the explorer Captain Cook, and they were also depicted in an historical Japanese drawing showing the lowest latitude auroras that ever occurred, spread over a period of nine days, its duration much longer than usual. This event could be the largest solar flare in recorded history and yet it has been lost in the annals of time. There have been other solar storms comparable to the Carrington event with similar magnetic amplitudes, including the one in February of 1872 and May of 1921. There has also been two others that were nearly as intense as the Carrington event, including the Quebec blackout of 1989, and the unnamed storm of the year 1909. In July of the year 2012, NASA and the European Space Agency observed an extreme solar storm erupt which barely missed the Earth. According to the NOAA, if this storm had impacted our planet, it most likely would have been stronger than the Carrington event, and we would still be recovering today 
from this extreme storm. Major solar events from our past have produced a greater awareness of their potential impact upon our planet. We know from the historical records that they have occurred on numerous occasions. And this is why researchers are urging policymakers to invest in improved infrastructure with our electrical power grid. As a matter of fact, scientists have been warning about the dangers of solar impacts for many years. A study from the Shelkova Institute of Science and Technology in Russia indicated that a major solar storm could create a global shutdown, affecting many areas of life. The cost of such an extreme event would be cataclysmic to the infrastructure and ultimately to the economy. It would have a cascading effect that could last for a decade or more. Back on October the 6th, another huge solar flare burst from the sun. Similar to the October 24th blast, this one also missed the earth, but just barely. The bright coronal mass ejection captured from Soho was explosive. If it had taken place just one week prior, it would have been facing Earth, and a geomagnetic storm warning would have been issued as a bombardment of solar particles would have been on a collision course with Earth. At this moment in time, as the sun transitions between cycles, it is relatively quiet and a quieter sun increases the odds that we will not be struck by a solar cataclysm. But anything can happen in an 11-year cycle, and the sun has shown that even during weaker solar cycles, it can still unleash gigantic explosions. On the evening of October the 23rd, the U.S. Pacific Coast witnessed a spectacular phenomenon when a meteor fireball that was brighter than the moon exploded across the western sky. Residents across California, Oregon, and Washington saw the phenomenon as they flocked to the International Meteor Organization to report their sighting. According to the reports, the sighting was described as beyond incredible as the object said to be brighter than the full moon, streaked across the landscape. One of the sky watchers, a frequent meteor and comet observer from Graham, Washington, described the meteor as large, yellowish and white in appearance, traveling in close proximity to the ground before disappearing behind the hills. In a two-week period between October the 10th and the 26th, a series of four fireballs exploded over Brazil. The first meteor was filmed over the state of Ceará on October the 10th, with associated reports of a loud noise followed by tremors which shook walls and windows in the district of Batariti. It was recorded by the GOES-16 satellite as well as live weather cameras. A trail of smoke created by the meteor was seen and recorded as it entered the atmosphere. On October the 19th, two more meteor fireballs were captured over the state of Sao Paulo and Bahia.
On October the 26th, another fireball was seen from multiple locations in the state of Bahia. Stay safe everyone, thanks for watching, and remember to keep looking to the sky.